If such a person has genuinely changed and still demonstrates these changes over time. People can change. Do you want to know how to become more like Christ? As God never gave up on you, never give up on others. Some of you have a story of personal transformation. You are a trophy of grace, a living testimony that when the Spirit of God gets hold of you, there is a transformation. When the time is right, tell your story. One of the great verses in all of Scripture is in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. When you read Exodus 32-34, to you see that Moses went up to the mountain to hear from God. He received the Ten Commandments and it was such a glorious event that his face radiated such that he wore a veil to hide the glory of God because it was too much. Now, Paul tells us that since Christ came to earth, a new age has dawned, a new covenant is upon us. We are living in an age where we have been given the Spirit and yet we wait for the fullness of eternal life. One of the most amazing phrases in all of the scriptures tells us how much more, how much more do we radiate the glory of God than Moses? I do not know what it would have been like to live before Jesus Christ, but I do know that now we are offered the fullness of Jesus Christ through the Spirit. Using a metaphor of Moses, the veil has been lifted. This means you can change. This means the possibility of a transformed life is real. Maybe God wants you together and that's why he gave that person the mind to change in the first place. So never give up on that person. Pray for the veil to be lifted. Pray for the glory of the Lord to shine upon your relationship. There's a probability that you might still feel bad about what transpired between you two despite the changes, but you can always pray God takes away that bitterness. People can change. Believe it. Expect it. Pray for it. Pray for the veil to be lifted. Not only can people change, but God can and will use you to change them. Once you notice a genuine change in this person, the best option is to accept their resolve and have faith in such a person. Just like God gives plenty of chances to us humans, so he expects you to do the same to your spouse or partner. He or she could be touched by God himself to turn out to be what you've always wanted them to be, but how will you know this if you fail to let go of whatsoever happened between you two and be patient enough to see through the purpose for which God is bringing you two together again. Reflect the Lord's glory and believe that people can change. The hardest heart can melt. The most stubborn person can be softened. And if it happened to you, it can happen to others. The change we are looking for in others should start with us. The new behavior is a good sign, and new patterns, new commitments are all good things a Christ-believing individual must learn to see in others. Number two, if you two still want to be together and still have the hope that things could still work out positively between you two. Going back and forth in relationship isn't something to be proud of, but sometimes as humans, there are possibilities of us getting out of line, especially in a relationship. You might assume this person isn't for me quickly, maybe because such a person made a slight mistake of which you had already had higher expectations from such a person. In such a case, you'd assume the fault is from your partner, whereas it's from you. All because you had a huge expectation of such a person forgetting no one is perfect. 
not even you. Things could turn out to be different and you too might discover what made you drift apart wasn't even what you should have given a chance to before or it shouldn't have been strong enough to pull you two apart in the first place. Then God may want you to try it again. God gives Christians huge freedom when it comes to relationships and being with each other. He just demands that we do not break any commands in the Bible and that we seek to follow the Spirit's leading in our lives. If you are doing that and you both want to get back together, it's okay to give it another shot. Just don't get into an unhealthy cycle of breaking up and getting back together over and over. Number 3. If you discover what led to your breakup with such a person was merely circumstantial, it could be a sign God is telling you it's not worth going your separate ways. It is possible for a very nice person to lash out in anger if they are going through something traumatic in their life. It's possible for a person who is normally very honest to lie about something because they were being controlled by a deep fear in their heart. It is also possible for someone who is normally very careful with their words to say something thoughtless that truly hurts you deeply. In short, we should give more weight to patterns and outliers. However, some offences, even if they happen just once and were an outlier, are just too damaging and the relationship can never be rebuilt. But in some cases, it is possible for a couple to break up because of someone's sin but to then forgive one another and start fresh. Be wise here. You must always forgive but you are not required to always reconcile, especially when this would prevent you from wisely guarding your heart as Proverbs 4.23 commands. Allow the Lord to lead you so you can accomplish. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 So flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Number 4. If there's a mission God has appointed for you to, to accomplish, of which you haven't before the breakup and you know it, it's a sign God wants you to back together. One of the important roles to play while on earth here as humans are to glorify God in our lives and through the services which we render to Him. And one of the major reasons why God brings couples together is that He wants them to replenish and multiply, meaning there's a purpose for you to fulfill as couples. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Once you know this person is the one to go on the same path with you, no matter the swirls and trials, always know that you too are to be committed to what God has chosen for you both. God knows best that that person is the best partner ever to fit into that position. Sometimes God will put it to you through diverse means, depending on how you hear or discern Him, and sometimes you will also realize that he or she is the one who can tread that same path with you successfully. If you know there are still certain tasks and assignments that you two are meant to fulfill together but it hasn't happened yet, it may be a sign God is asking you to go back because you two haven't expressed the true reason why he put you two together in the first place. Very importantly, pray about it and if God says yes, then it will work out between you two again.